thank you very much, and it was a great panel talk. With all the conversation about African involvement in the world trade and with the realities and difficulties that the nation is facing, the whole region is facing, what do you think is missing from the politics of the region, whether it's internal or external, that would help Africa get to that next level? Well, I think uh, Africa is currently addressing the issues of uh, leadership. Within the African context, we have the peer review mechanism, which is a process in which we self-examine what we do in uh, our various countries with a focus on improving good governance, uh, deepening democracy, and also focusing on addressing the issues of development. Now, we are of the view that um, we still have a lot to do within Africa. We still have a lot of collaboration. That is why you may have heard that uh, just recently Africa has signed a free trade agreement. Uh, this is informed from the fact that uh, trade between African countries is at a low percentage as two. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we prefer, or we have been engaged in trading with our, either our colonial partners or people that we have signed some kind of bilateral agreements uh, leaving uh, the African engagement in great difficulties. So that realization is now being addressed amongst others that are going to open up Africa. We already have a free movement of uh, our citizens at sub-regional level. Beautiful. I mean, like the ECOWAS, uh, you don't need a passport. To, I mean, you even don't need a passport, you can move with uh, an ID card. Uh, you don't need a visa to travel to any of these countries. So I think uh, a lot of work is going on, and there is hope. Because we believe Africa is uh, the continent of the future. Beautiful. And, and certainly from a population perspective. Of course, in terms of population, in terms of resources, and uh, on the population, we have 60% of our people are young. And, uh, our uh, challenge, which we are pressing, is to transform these people to useful, productive citizens. And we have a huge capacity there that is going to address all of this. Problem. So there is great hope in terms of democratization. Main wars between African countries is uh, non-existent. We have difficulties in uh, countries like uh, Mali, uh, Burkina Faso, Nigeria, and the threatening situation in uh, Cameroon mm -hmm. and uh, the DRC. But these are all issues that uh, are now being addressed. We hope that very soon we'll be able to address them. When there is overall peace in Africa, the huge uh, potential for development will be unlocked. Having served as a president, what is it that the biggest thing that you feel you've learned that you did not know before you took the presidency about the country and the world? I've learned that a lot could be achieved through collaboration, engagement beyond the national level. Because the benefits are not only enormous, but you acquire the strength that will uh, make you uh, go beyond uh, the boundaries that limit you. And I think that should be the focus of uh, the Africa of tomorrow. We have to engage at the continental level, we have to do things at the continental level. And, uh, if we uh, develop the continental market, the continental position, the continental resources, I think it will enhance the transformation of Africa. Mr. President, it was an honor and a pleasure. Thank you very much. Let me know what you think of this in the comment section below. Leave questions for my guests for the follow-up interviews. And as always, please like, subscribe, and share.